Just to start off, I have Viva La Juicy Noir. It's a very heavy bottle and it's got that black bow there. It's nice. And this crystal looking lid, it's a very heavy bottle. As I was saying, this is quite a heavy bottle. Um, but the issue is you can't see how much is left inside. It's not see-through or anything, so you just have to guess or shake it about a little bit. I still have, you know, a hefty amount left in there. Let me see. Oh, this is really nice. You know, it's very, it's very girly. Uh, it's a nighttime girly scent, basically. I see someone who likes to dress up, you know, very young, very fun. If you like to wear clothes like pretty little thing and you know, those types of outfits that are just very girly. Um, if I could put a face to this scent, it would be Ariana Grande. You know what I mean? Just like a bit, very youngish looking, like that's the vibe that I get from this. It's noir, um, it's the noir version. So I would say it's really good for nighttime, but daytime you can wear it as well. I like to wear it when I'm just casual, you know, going out, um, t-shirt, jeans, and pumps maybe, but yeah, it's nice. It's not for a formal occasion or anything. Uh, like I said, it's fun, flirty. So yeah, um, I think guys really like these types of scents, these types of scents. So, I mean, there's no guy that I know that would not like this one <laughs> on a girl. So yeah, and I think um, Jeremy Fragrance as well likes this one. Um, this is one of his favorites. He really enjoys Juicy Couture perfumes on women. Um, and he says many men do as well. So I guess that's one to add to your collection as well. Yeah, so yeah. Um, this is a 100 ml bottle. I always like to buy 100 ml bottles. I just like to buy 100 ml bottles. I just do. So next up is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I guess this is the sister to the Noir version I just showed you before. Uh, but this one has the gold bottle. It's very pretty as well with the nice mesh um, bow and that crystal lid. Uh, again, just like the last one, you can't see how much is left in here. Um, still a lot in there anyway, I already know. Um, another 100 ml bottle. This is nice. Let me smell it again. Okay. This one <laughs> is sexier than the last one I showed you, than the Noir. Um, this one is my personal preference as well. Um, it is flirty, it is sweeter. It is very warm. It's nice, it's very sweet. Um, I could wear this day or night. It's, like I said, to me, it's sexier than the Noir. But um, yeah, it's also a favorite of um, men from my understanding. It's, you can't go wrong with this. Like I said, it's flirty, it's sweet, and man loves sweet scents, you know? So yeah, it is a gourmand. It is really nice. I might spray this one now. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Uh, 
these perfumes don't really last that long on me. I mean, I shouldn't really compare them to my other fragrances uh, that are more pricier, but they are, you know, they do the job. You know, four hours, four or five hours, I could get out of these uh, Juicy Couture scents. And yeah, and these are affordable, um, so, you know, you can't go wrong. Just try these out. And if you're gonna try any of the Juicy Couture, I'd say try this one first. Yeah, and the bottle is pretty. It looks good on the vanity, but yeah, nice. Again, very weighty. Juicy Couture, Gold Couture. All right, I feel like this fragrance does not need an introduction. Uh, if you don't recognize the bottle, this is Jessica Simpson Fancy. Um, Jessica Simpson has a few of these fancy fragrances, I guess it's like a flanker as well. I, I don't know which one's the original and which one's the flanker, but this one is my favorite of the ones she has. I have another one that I'm about to show you in a minute. Uh, this is nice. This is so good. It smells like candy in a bottle, you know? It smells like candy floss. If candy floss had a smell, this is what it would smell like. It's so sweet, like edible, you know? You just wanna eat it, but you can't, you shouldn't. <laughs> um, as you can see, like I've gone through it a bit and it it's not very light. Like it's, it's got good projection as well. It's, um, very heavy it's I don't need to spray too much of it and it lasts on my skin about five hours six hours and you can still smell it lingering um, I like to wear it to bed as well uh, it's just sweet and it's nice yeah if you like sweet fragrances this is another one and none of these fragrances will break your bank. They are so affordable. <laughs> They're like below, below $50. The Juicy Couture was about 65, 70 Australian dollars. This one was about 40, $44 um, online, but it's really nice. You should give this one a try. This is Fancy, Jessica Simpson. One of my favorites from her line. Hmm. Another one of those fragrances that don't need an introduction. This is Pink Sugar by Aquilina. I feel like most of us already know about this fragrance. <laughs> uh, I had never heard of it until I got onto YouTube and People kept mentioning it, so I went to a shop nearby and I went and smelt it. And the first time I smelt it, I didn't really like it. It just smelled cheap to me. Um, when I spray it on my skin, it doesn't smell cheap. It's like the alcohol evaporates and you're just left with the sugar smell. So. I didn't even tell you how it smells. It smells like burnt sugar, <laughs> like sugar basically. And that's why I'm mentioning it straight after the Jessica Simpson fancy perfume because they're kind of similar, but not. Honestly, I would prefer the fancy over this one, um, but you know, they're close together. It's a very sweet scent. It smells like burnt sugar, if you've ever smelt burnt sugar. And it, when I layer it with other fragrances, it lasts pretty well on my skin. 
actually longer than the Jessica Simpson. Uh, about six hours on my skin. Oh, it's a girly, young girl kind of scent. It's but if you layer it with other fragrances, it can add like a sweet aspect to, let's say you're wearing a, a deeper woody scent or like a woody scent, and you just wanna add a touch of sweetness, then I spray this over the top. Cause some of my Tom Ford fragrances are very like unisex, you know, they lean towards the man kind of scent. So, I like to spray a little bit of this to add that femininity back to them, just make them smell sweeter, you know? The bottle is cute. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's affordable, go give it a try. You are not going to regret buying it because it's not gonna cost that much, so you know and i've sprayed a lot of it and look it's only up to there so yeah it comes with a i could have bought the set because it has like a body cream a shower gel but i didn't this time i just yeah i just wanted the perfume but maybe next time maybe next time so yeah it does have that sugar smell i'm guessing it has vanilla in it um so yeah just because the color has changed a little bit. So that's why I'm suspecting there's vanilla. I, you guys, there is vanilla in here. I am 90% sure. Um, so yeah. Mm, it's really good. Um, I would repurchase it. Actually, I'm thinking of buying another bottle and just keeping it. These two, yeah, could be sisters, but they're not twins <laughs> you know what i mean they're not exactly the same but they could belong in the same family this one fancy love by jessica simpson is fresh it's a fresh scent um it smells like a bar of soap you know, uh, when you just come out of the shower, well, this is what I do. Like, I just come out of the shower and I've moisturized and all, and I don't really know what fragrance I want to wear that day, but I just wanna smell good until I decide. <laughs> so let's say I'm still in my bathrobe and all that good stuff. I spray this one on just because it's not going to stay on my skin to the point where I can't wear another fragrance on top. Uh, it will slowly start to fade off, like the smell. So yeah, so I spray this one on when I get out of the shower and just, yeah, and enjoy it. And enjoy having something on, smelling clean and fresh. But yeah, and I also like to layer this one with this pink sugar together. Let's say sometimes I'm just at home and yeah, I just wanna smell good. So I layer these two together and it smells really good. Another popular scent uh, by Rihanna. This is Rebel Fleur, I believe that's how it, yeah. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's got this black bottle. It's kind of slick looking. Um, another 100 ml bottle. Everyone was speaking big things about this perfume. They really liked it and it's great for summer. You know, that's what everyone was saying. But when I first smelt it, I didn't really like it. Just because it has a coconut scent in it and I don't typically like coconut like pronounced coconut if the coconut is layered with something heavily sweet that kind of overrides the coconut where you can just smell the coconut in the background I can tolerate that but the coconut in here is quite pronounced 
for my nose. But it works somehow. In summer, it smells even better on the skin with the heat. So I've gotten used to it. I've fallen in love with it. It's good. Um, I'm trying not to go through the bottle too quickly because I don't want to repurchase it. It's not something I'm like so in love with, but you know, I do appreciate having it in my collection. So yes, uh, give it a try. Majority really likes it. Um, it's a great summer scent, but also you could wear this uh, on a date at night. So in my opinion, even better if you live somewhere tropical. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's really good. I've gotten compliments when I wear this one. That's the bottle. It makes it hard to spray because like it's awkward. It's awkward holding the bottle and spraying, you know, it's just, it's just different. It's just different. Born in Paradise by Escada. Um, Escada has good affordable perfumes. This is a good everyday summer scent. Uh, let me smell it. It's sweet, it's fresh, it's it's a safe scent, you know? Um, depending on your body chemistry, uh, your pH levels on your skin, it's going to react differently with everyone the sweet side could become more pronounced on your skin or you won't be standing out in a crowd or anything like that but it just smells good yeah this is a 50 ml bottle and as you can see i've gone through it this is another fragrance i use to layer my other fragrances uh, if i want to add a touch of freshness to my other scents then i'll spray this one on top but I have gotten compliments for this one too, funny enough. Yeah, and it's good. I just pop it in my handbag uh, when I need to go somewhere and I know I might need to retouch. I uh, just put it in my handbag or in the car and just quick spritz and I'm out the door. Now I know Zara scents are not <laughs> celebrity perfumes, but should I have put this in the designer collection? Is it a design? Anyway, it's here anyway. We're gonna talk about it now. This is one of my Zara scents. <laughs> it is called Accord Number no. Four. The bottle attracted me to this scent. <laughs> so typical of me. It is so feminine, so simple classy i really like this bottle you know it looks good on my vanity as well it is a fresh scent like a bar of soap i spray this one straight out of the shower so it stays near my sink you know in that little area just so i can spray it straight out of the shower it lasts about two, three hours on my skin. I use it to layer other fragrances as well. It has, you know, not that great of projection, but it does the job. You know what I mean? If someone's close to you, they can smell it or yeah. Or you just need to spray and spray like 10, 15 times. But I have a very sensitive nose, so I don't need to spray too much. Otherwise, I'll be sneezing and everything. <laughs> no, not, not good. So I just spray about three, four sprays, which is typically a lot for me. Usually I spray like two sprays or one spray on other perfumes. But three, four sprays? Hmm. So anyway, it's 
affordable. And that's why it's in this video. But it's a really nice scent and I love the bottle. So yeah, here we are. As you can see, I've gone through it quite a bit. That should tell you something. It is a 100 ml bottle. Yeah, Auto Toilet. I like auto performs, but I don't think it came with an auto perform version. But uh, yeah, auto toilets are usually lighter than auto performs. They're not as concentrated. So I guess that would make sense as well. Um, yeah, but I really like this scent. Accord number four. Oh, if you can see <laughs> the name of the perfume here, but it says fire and ice. So this is Fire and Ice by Revlon. This is a really nice perfume. It's, it's got a spicy element to it. It's sweet spicy, you know, more to the spicy side. It's very feminine. Um, a woman, like a woman, not a girl would wear this in my opinion. Um, this is actually one of my mom's favorites. She always restocks on this one. I think I, once I bought her like three bottles just cause also it's very affordable and she likes to layer this with other, you know, pricier fragrances so that, um, one, she can create her own like signature scent that no one else can recognize. Like for example, I think she mixes a couple of fragrances with the Chanel Mademoiselle. She really loves Mademoiselle by Chanel. It's like her favorite at the moment, but she knows like everyone knows about it. A lot of people own it and people might detect it on her. So she mixes it with, I think one of the, this one or another one as well, I don't know. You know, she creates her own blend and that way when you compliment her and she, <laughs> you ask her like, what fragrance are you wearing? She'll just be like, oh, it's Coco Mademoiselle. She'll just name one fragrance, but you won't be able to replicate it because she has mixed like three different fragrances to get that smell. So which is smart. I mean, if you really love a fragrance that 150 billion people are wearing, um, then mix it with other scents, layer it. Um, that way you can add a bit of mystery to your fragrances, you know, um, and personalize them. So yeah, this is Fire and Ice. I like it. I bought it for my collection just to have, and I use it to layer as well. But as you can see, you know, I've not used much of it because I don't tend to gravitate towards this one. I have other scents that I love more. Next scent is, what is this called? Miami Glow, that's right. I knew it was by JLo, but I forgot the name. <laughs> this is Miami Glow by JLo. I mean, the bottle is sleek. It had this string around here, but I just thought that was weird. So I just took that one, that thing off and threw it away. This is a hundred ml bottle. It is a great summer scent. Mm. If the sun, the color of the sun, the, feel of the sun on your skin, the smell of summer, the beach, the water, the sand, if all of those were a smell in one bottle, this would be it. This is summer in a bottle. It also smells like those tanning creams. Don't ask me. <laughs> how I know what tanning cream smell like, but I am, I think maybe, listen, it's just, it has a, like a body cream smell to it, but a summery body cream. 
it's very vibrant and lively it's it's summery fresh but but sweet listen if you wear this in summer you're not gonna go wrong okay everyone's gonna know you're here for summer okay you are ready to go you are prepared you are you are into it okay you are into summer this is this is the bottle for it so yeah it doesn't smell like a typical uh celebrity fragrance it's good quality you know what i mean um compared to many others it is actually very good i have not smelled uh any other of jlo's perfumes but i might have to since smelling this one i couldn't really find it i had to search really hard and then eventually i found it on amazon uh but yeah i mean if you have it at your local drugstore then good for you but i couldn't i couldn't find it so yeah mm -hmm. it's good mm, it's nice imagining this at night in summer and you you know it's it's lively out there there are people outside you know the streets are open you know the restaurants are open and and it's summer it's cans this smells like a good fragrance for cans actually <laughs> like a tropical place a tourist place and it's summer all year round and everyone's just lively and happy to be alive that kind of that kind of vibe so yeah, Miami Glow by JLo. Next one is an Elizabeth Arden perfume called Always Red. The bottle is nice, like a gradient black to a red. And the scent suits the bottle. It is deep, sexy, it's musky, it's warm. It's feminine, it's womanly, you know? Um, very affordable perfume, but the quality is great. Uh, all of Elizabeth Arden uh, perfumes are really good, you know? They're a good start to your collection. Uh, <laughs> so I used to have the Red Door, the original one. It was really good. I won it at some event, I don't know. When, like a voucher thing when I was I was 16 and I brought it home it came in a toiletry bag with other things in there and the perfume and I took it home I sprayed it for church one day and my dad was like you smell good and I was like thank you it's like no you smell too good for a 16 year old whatever you're wearing you need to go get it and give it to my wife <laughs> I was like, what he was like i'm very serious he's like that is just too good too womanly too grown up for you go give it to your mom I don't know whether he was joking or what he was serious. I mean, I don't know. But we ended up sharing that bottle of perfume with my mom. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was an Elizabeth Arden perfume. So yeah, um, but this one's always red and it's good. It's it's really good. I use it to layer as well or nighttime when I'm around the house or nighttime and I just want to run out and get ice cream or something. I uh, will spray this on. So yeah, it's a good start to your collection. Just check out Elizabeth Arden um, perfumes. She has some fresh scents as well that are really good. They're very feminine and good quality for their price. So yeah. Next one. I'm sure just by looking at the bottle, you already know what this perfume is. If you don't, this is Britney Spears uh, Fantasy. 
She has many other versions of, you know, this perfume. She has a, a blue bottle. She's got orange. I mean, she's got lots of bottles. Um, of course, they all smell different, but I think they're like similar DNA. I like the blue one as well, but I gave that one to my sister one time. Oh, I forgot it somewhere and she just kept it. Anyway, what can you do? Family, right? Um, yeah, fantasy. Now, <laughs> but again, when I was about 16 years old, I was gifted a bottle of fantasy by Britney Spears by a friend and I was so appreciative. And since then I've been, actually, this is my second bottle since the one I was gifted at 16. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's a very sweet scent. It's girly. It is a bit musky. And I used to keep the last bottle that I used to have, I used to keep that one in the car. So it got hot, you know, and I think it changed the scent and made it more musky than what it was. So it became even better. Like it became sexier and deeper just because of the reaction to the heat. Uh, it's a sweet fragrance. It smells better than the price of it. If you're starting your collection, buy this one as well. It is really good. And when you spray this, unless the, the person is like a diehard Britney Spears fan, they're not gonna know which perfume you sprayed and they're not gonna know how much you paid for it. It smells better than its price. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a good fragrance and it's better than some designer fragrances. I, don't tell anyone I said that, but it is, <laughs> okay? I mean, the bottle is cute. It's got those sparkles there. It just kind of describes what the scent is like. This is a 50 ml bottle. I really should have gotten a 100 ml, but they didn't have one at the time. And I just really wanted it in my collection. So yeah, um, I use it to layer other fragrances as well. So. It's a good scent. Sometimes I wear it to bed and it, I just smell good in bed. So yeah. Second to last perfume I wanna share with you in my celebrity fragrance collection is Escada Joyful. So this is the bottle. Uh, this is a 50 ml bottle. It is a fresh scent, very citrusy. And I don't typically like citrusy scents. I use it to layer other fragrances that might be too deep for summer or too warm for summer. And I just wanna add a little citrus to them. Uh, so yeah, I'll spray this over the top, but I never wear it by itself. It is okay. It's good. Um, it's a good start to your collection. If you don't have a lot of fragrances, if you're not ready to spend a whole lot on your fragrances, then this is good. And last but not least for this video, I have got Marugia. I'm sure you've seen this fragrance um, at your local beauty store or a drugstore or something. It is a very affordable fragrance, I think below $20 Australian dollars. So <laughs> yeah, um, I bought it intending on using to layer my other fragrances. It is a, an incense scent. It gives me Dubai vibes. <laughs> yeah, it's an incense scent, so it's good. But as you can see, I haven't, I haven't really used much of it. 
but uh, this is a 100ml bottle, of course. I mean, I will use it to layer other fragrances if I'm going somewhere at night. It's good. I know people who use this on a daily basis as just, you know, an everyday perfume uh, for around the house. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't get me excited or anything, but it's good. I used to own a lot more um, celebrity fragrances, but I've given some away just because my taste in perfumes has changed. My nose has gotten used to more designer niche fragrances. Um, but you know, there's some celebrity scents that are still near and dear to my heart that I find are great quality and yeah, I still love them. I still have them. The issue with some celebrity scents, celebrity perfumes, um, the quality is not very good because they use more alcohol. It just smells too sharp for me or like too alcoholish, you know? So um, that's why my nose gravitates towards more niche because they're, they use more oils and they're longer lasting. They have longer projection and you only need a few sprays and I need my fragrances to last long and I need them to smell expensive. <laughs> if you've watched my other videos uh, about my perfumes, you would know that I like scents that last long and have great projection and that smell like good quality, you know, smell like they're worth a lot. So, I mean, sometimes you get what you pay for. I mean, go and give these perfumes a try. They're all good for when you're starting your collection or you want to layer some of your other fragrances with them. I mean, they're just good, good perfumes. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you have not had enough of me, go ahead and check out my other perfume collection videos that I will link up here and in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know if you enjoyed this video, what are the perfumes you have that I've shown you today or what are some that you're planning on getting. Ask me any questions. Um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.